All right, welcome back to uh, the second half of the fight between Ezra Charles and Sonny Liston. Uh, we got up through the sixth round with uh, uh, Liston scoring heavy early on, winning some big rounds, but not being able to put Charles down, who was using his uh, jab strategy to stay out of trouble in Liston's most uh, powerful, powerful rounds. In the sixth round, Charles came back to gave Liston a licking, and uh, I made two mistakes in that round, uh, one in favor of Charles and one in favor of Liston, uh, so I guess it evens out. So I'm not going to replay it, but I want to talk about what they were. First, uh, Ezra Charles had a, a foul result in the sixth round, and I should have noted... Uh, which I forgot. I'm using normal foul handling and normal scoring. So normal foul handling, he would only, he would have lost the round in the second foul of the round, but the first foul is only a, a, a warning and lose the exchange. But since he had scored some uh, points on that exchange, um, so I docked him a point. He should have only lost a half a point, but he should have lost the exchange. Uh, he did get to keep control. That that part went in his favor. Uh, the other part that I uh, made a mistake on was... Well, let me see if I can do this from here. The other part that I made a mistake on is right here. Once uh, Charles had scored uh, 10 points on Liston to uh, bring him down to this first level of uh, fading ability, that would have lowered his TKO resistance from 15 to 14, and I should have marked that right away, because it happened as soon as he scored the uh, 10th point. That would have made his TKO resistance 14. Why does that matter? Because in this round, Charles scored 2, 3, 8, 10, 11, 13 points, uh, Dockham, a half a point for the foul warning, so he scored 12 and a half points. That is within one to two points under the resistance. Originally, I said he didn't make it because I was still counting his resistance as 15, but 12 and a half is uh, less than two points under 14 resistance. So what should have happened is when a fighter... Uh, uh, gets near TKO resistance or a knockdown, um, the offense gains these round ratings uh, both in the same round and the next round. Well, I forgot to give uh, Charles this um, power plus one and control plus one uh, strategy factors we don't worry about, but I didn't give Charles this uh, power plus one and control plus one in the same round. Um, but uh, because I didn't count this as 15. But since it was 14, he scored 12 and a half. Uh, he survives. Sonny Liston survives this round. It will only require two-thirds of his TKO resistance in this round uh, to knock him, uh, to get a score of TKO. So that means uh, if Ezra Charles can score... Uh, 10 points in this round, two-thirds of 14, uh, he will uh, TKO list. And plus, he will get a power plus one in this round and a control plus one. So let's uh, continue with the fight from there. As I set this up. Oh, Sonny Liston. Now, Liston will still start off this round. Uh, Liston has no more 
um, power or controls, but because of the near TKO by Charles, it's not on his card, but for this round, he will have a plus one power rating and a, a plus one control rating. So, Sonny Liston will go first, as he has, since we are in the seventh round. Each boxer will get nine exchanges, and if you remember, Liston has a pace of minus one, so he only gets eight exchanges, and Liston starts. So, this is what Sonny Liston needed. He's going to score two points. So that two points is going to take this total to 28 and a half. That's twice this 14. So he's going to drop another level, and he'll go from 21 to 20 to 19 now for his TKO resistance. And there's also a possible knockout for Sonny Liston. So this K counts as a K0 uh, or a K1. We'll be looking on Ezra Charles' card for a K0. That means if he rolls a 5 or a 7, he will be knocked out. Twelve. That doesn't knock him out, so, but uh, Sonny Liston stays in control. With a 12, he doesn't score. It's going to go to Ezra Charles. He's going to use his power rating right away. So he's going to set that one dice to six. And seven is 13. That scores him a point. And he stays in control. Charles with an 11 is a miss. Liston with a 13 scores a point. Stays in control. Liston with a 7 misses. Charles gets a seven, that's a miss. Liston gets a 14, so he's gonna score two points. He's gonna stay in control, and there's a potential injury. And since uh, Charles has been injured already in this uh, fight twice, uh, either injury or injury two will match. That is a nine injury too, so he's injured again. We're well, gonna have to keep track because that makes uh, two, four, six points of injuries. Uh, if he scores 19 points of, uh, or whatever is TKO resistance of injuries, it'll stop on a TKO. But that's another uh, point for Liston who will go again. Liston recovering nicely from that uh, Poor sixth round, does not score here. Charles with an 11 misses. Liston with a 12 misses. Nine and six, 15. That's a miss for Ezra Charles. Big numbers and he misses. And a nine for Sonny Liston is nothing, and that ends the seventh round. Liston came back strong, seven points. He's now scored uh, 33 and a half. When he gets to 42, some other changes will happen besides dropping to uh, 18 for his TKO resistance. And, uh, Sonny Char or Ezra Charles got uh, one point to take this up to 15 and a half. And it looks like maybe Sonny Liston is back in control. All right, for the eighth round, it's another round with nine exchanges. 
Liston, of course, is eight because of his pace, and we'll start. Okay, Liston with a 12, nothing. Charles, 11, nothing. Liston with a 15. This is an N, which means it counts as an N1 or an N2. In this case, since uh, no one's been knocked down, this will be a uh, uh, knockdown. If Ezra Charles rolls an N or an N1 on his card, that's only a 16 or a 17. He was really hard to knock down. <laughs> And 11 will not knock him down. Now this is a missed uh, power blow, and there's no other points on that line. So uh, Sonny Liston gets a half a point and stays in control. Seven for Liston is nothing. Charles with an eight. A heavy exchange means they both lose uh, one exchange, and that's a half a point for uh, Ezra Charles, who will stay in control. With a five is nothing. Listing with a seven is nothing. Charles with an 8, another heavy exchange. That's not really helping him to tie Liston up right now. Although it does put him ahead by half a point. 11 for uh, Charles is nothing. Liston, 11. And Charles, 16. Okay, so the N2 will not count because he has not gotten the N1 first, but there's a possible cut and a definite two points for uh, Charles. I'll mark this here, and then we'll roll to see if there's a cut on Liston's card. A 10. TKO or injury, no cut, so he doesn't get the cut. But Charles does score two points on that and stays in control. Charles with a 15 misses. I hate to roll high numbers and get a miss, but that's what happens. 13 is a point for Charles, to, or Sonny Liston, to end the round. That's going to take him to 35 against... He needs seven more to knock him down. One more here. This is um, uh, two, three points. So that's uh, 18 and a half. He only, uh, Ezra Charles only needs to score another point and a half to bring Liston's efficiency down another level. So now we're going to go to the uh, ninth round. There's only six exchanges. Five there for Liston with his pace, and Liston starts. Oh, Liston with an 18. K0, TKO, N, cut. A 13. N2 does not match an N. Uh, because N2 would only happen for a uh, second if he'd been knocked down once already. He hasn't. Uh, so none of these match these. So even with this 18, all Liston can get is a half a point for a missed power blow. And he stays in control. Thirteen gives uh, Liston another point. Five is a miss.
Charles with a uh, 14, so Charles will score two points for sure. And a possible injury on Sonny Liston. And the seven is uh, not an injury, so he only scores two points. But Ezra Charles stays in control. Oh, uh, before I go any further... This uh, two points took this to 20 and a half, so that is uh, two thirds of this. Uh, 20 is two thirds of this, so he's going to lose another level of ability, and his TKO resistance will drop to 13. Will that be enough in time? Uh, Ezra Charles rolled an eight on the follow up, which means they both lose an exchange. He's just running out. He stays in control, though. A 10. Uh, that's a control rating, but he doesn't have any uh, controls uh, for this round. That uh, control rating he got for the uh, near TKO resistance only benefited him in the next round. After that, um, Sonny Liston had had enough time to recover. Liston with a 13 scores a point to end the round. So we're at uh, 21. And uh, 2.5, 37.5. And that was a 2.5 to 2.5 round. That one's a close one. Uh, the referee would give that round to... Uh, as are Charles because he has a better boxing rating, so the referee would see it as a half point better for him. Uh, we're going on to round 10 now. Uh, nine exchanges, eight with Liston, and he's going to start. Uh, 17, that's only going to score Liston a single point because the K1 does not come into effect without the K0. Uh, 9 for Liston is a miss. Charles with an 11. Liston with a 14. That's a sure 2 points. And another possible injury on Charles. You can't knock him down, and it's hard to knock him out. But it was plenty injury, uh, easy to injure him. But a four, he manages to escape the injury that time. But uh, Liston holds on to control. Liston misses. Oops. Charles gets a half a point on that heavy exchange. That strategy is nice when you're ahead, but not so nice when you're behind. A 10 for Charles, he has no control ratings. A 12 for Liston is nothing. A 7 for Charles is nothing. Liston with a six, stalks him for a half a point. And Liston finishes out the round with uh, a 13, which is a single point. Is that enough to reduce? All right, so first off, half a point for... Charles, four and a half points. A half makes it 38, and four is 42. All right, so 42, that's the magic number. He reached his TKO thing, so that's his third level of declining ability. So we're going to take a look at what that means here. So when you hit this level here, your opponent gets plus one control rating for the rest of the bout. So for the 11th and 12th round, 
Liston will have a uh, uh, control rating. His TKO resistance goes down to 18. And he loses an offensive uh, power rating. So his offensive power rating goes from a B to a C against Liston's B. So if I look here, a C against a B is a minus 16. We'll mark that for Charles. Which means if he rolls a 16 on his card instead of scoring two points here, he's only going to score one point here as he starts to uh, wilt in this fight. On to the 11th round. There are seven exchanges with uh, Sonny Liston getting six. He'll start. He now has a, a control rating to play with. An eight is a miss. Charles with a five is a miss. Listen with an 11, miss. Charles with a 9, miss. Listen with a 7, miss. There's a lot of misses in this game. It's kind of like title bow when they go back and forth, swapping control and nothing happens. Charles rolls a 14, he scores 2 points. And uh, a possible injury on Liston. A 7 on Liston's card is not an injury, so no injury. Ezra Charles stays in control. Charles with a 9 is nothing. Liston with a 12 is nothing. Charles with a 12 is nothing. Liston, nothing. Charles with a 6 is nothing. And Liston finishes out the round with nothing. So nothing much going on here. This stays at 42. Oh, Charles finally wins a round, probably the maybe first or second round he's won since the sixth. He managed to take this up to 23 and a half going into the final round. And the final uh, 12th round has six exchanges. So it's going to be a short one, especially with Liston going first. Listen with a 10. He does have a control now because of uh, the uh, the uh, TKO uh, rating being reached in punishment. So he'll get a half a point. Sorry. Half a point in the 12th round. Stay in control. 11. Nothing. Thirteen for Ezra Charles. Oh, he scores a point. I don't think that's going to be enough to win in the fight. Stays in control. Seven, nothing for Charles. Listen with a ten. He used up his control already, so he will not stay in control this time. It goes to Ezra Charles for a four, so he's going to score. Two points. He's going to get a second foul warning, which will lose him half a point. And he's going to uh, lose his exchange back. But there's a, still a possible TKO. We're going to roll on Liston's card. And we get a 12. Now we see a TKO. So this could be a possible TKO blow. But because Ezra Charles has had his declining ability here, 
he will lose 33% in power. So we go down to this chart here, 33% means that TKO part of that uh, blow will be reduced if he rolls a three to six, a three or a six through nine on this roll. He rolls a 10, which just misses. So that means he lands the TKO blow. But because uh, Sonny Liston has only lost two point uh, two levels, he's going to lose. Uh, he's going to get hit for five here. That's going to uh, twenty three and a half. So that's definitely going to take him to thirty. So he, he's also at the point where his TKO resistance is down to 12. And he has the other factors going on. Well, the plus one control rating uh, for the rest of the bout. Uh, but the offensive power rating, uh, well, there's only two exchanges left. But this would go from a B to a C. C against C means he loses his plus 16 advantage here. Now, with uh, uh, 8 minus a half, so 7.5 points, uh, if he could land another TKO blow, he could actually TKO Sonny Liston in, in the final round. But because of that foul, he loses control back to... As or back to Sonny Liston, who's going to take up one of the last two rolls. If he scores a point, he'll be guaranteed to finish out the round before Ezra Charles can hit him back. Uh, 10, 15 for Liston. Oh, a potential knockdown. A 12 is not going to be a knockdown. So that is a half a point. That is enough to keep Liston in control and take the final exchange. With a nine, nothing happens. So, in the end, this will be uh, one more point here, 43. This will be a um, uh, 23 and a half, 28 and a half, uh, 28 because he loses a half, 31 against. So I'm not going to do the scoring for this bout tonight. I think it's pretty obvious that uh, Liston is going to win this uh, decision. He took this round, this round, this round. This round, this round, give this round to Charles, uh, Liston, uh, so two rounds for Charles, the referee may tip this one to him, so maybe three, four, five, so it's going to be a little closer than I thought, except there might be some 10-8 rounds in here, uh, so it'll be interesting to see the final scoring, I will do that in another uh, video, the scoring video, That'll come after this. Uh, but it looks to me, uh, while they're tallying up the cards, that Liston has done enough to win this fight. Really, Charles had his big chance here in the 6th, and again in the 12th, came very close to getting a TKO victory over Sonny Liston, but it just wasn't enough, and uh, he managed to elude uh, Liston's big power. But not many boxers are going to have this jab 2 rating, so... Liston may ha actually have a better uh, chance in the second round. We'll see who he's going to be fighting in the second round of this tournament. All right, that wraps up the fight between Sonny Liston and Ezra Charles. I'll be back uh, in a day or two with the scoring video. Thanks. Bye.